DIY painting on a jacket and I'm doing an octopus, but this really could be used to paint an octopus on any kind of clothing or just see the techniques that I used and you can paint anything on any item of clothing for that matter. So stay tuned. The first thing you're going to want to do is pin plastic underneath your material just so that the paint doesn't soak through to the other side. And then to mix your paint to make it fabric safe, you're going to want to mix one part uh, vegetable glycerin with two parts water and then the same amount of paint. So it's about half the water glycerin mix and half paint. And just mix that in. It's not an exact science. Uh, the glycerin is just going to make it so it's a little softer when the paint dries and you don't want to use just straight up glycerin, which is why you dilute it with water. However, the more water and glycerin mix you have in the paint, the softer the paint will be, but also the less opaque it'll be. So if you're painting, say, onto a black piece of clothing, you're going to probably want to use more paint and less of the water and glycerin. But as I'm painting on a white jacket, I can use a pretty heavy, I can um, use a heavy handed amount of the water and glycerin because I know that it'll cover just fine on a white jacket, if that makes any sense at all. So then I'm just going to, I, first I just painted out the outlines for my octopus with a pink and then I filled in the undersides of the tentacles with the same color pink and I'm going to be filling in the rest with a purple. And I'm using all very bright colors for this. I love bright colors. I love um, these particular colors I used purple, pink, like an aqua color and a blue for the most part. Those are going to be my favorite colors. So that's why I use them. And I also, on my octopus, I did some highlighting on certain areas with that pink. So like on the underside of his head and then around his eye a little bit. And then I'm going to take charcoal and I'm going, charcoal colored paint, and I'm just going to add some shadows around. So I'm going to separate the tentacles that way and also add some details around his eye and his pupil and some outlines. And then with blue, I'm going to be adding some spots on the top sides of the purple on his body and on his tentacles and then with the same color blue I'm going to add the little ovals for the suction cups on the tentacles in sets of two and just wherever that pink is seen and then I'm going to add some white highlights and I'm going to highlight those suction cups and I'm also going to be doing some highlights in his eye and then around the octopus all over the place in sort of like a fanned out color I'm going to be adding that aqua that I mentioned before I'm just going to fill in in all the spaces you won't want to do the background and then paint the octopus on top because it's almost like doing watercolor painting it doesn't work that way you can't cover up paint with another color it just doesn't end very well and I also did some splatter painting on the back of the jacket that I kind of missed showing or I missed speaking about I just took a very stiff brush dipped in all those colors ran my thumb across it and it splattered just to add some more contrast and then on the front of the jacket um, there's two of these panels that are stitched in that I used as a guide so I just painted those pink and then added the tentacle suction cups and then on the sides of the jacket, I took some masking tape and I masked off where I wanted this to be. You know that masking tape is going to leave straight lines. And so that's just a quick way to get your lines in place so you know where to paint your sections. And then I just outlined the, along the edge of the masking tape and then you can peel it off and throw it away. Uh, and that also you can check from side to side as you're doing it to make sure that it's the same from sleeve to sleeve. And then I filled that in with purple. And the other reason why I'm splatter painting this jacket, if you're curious at all, is because I am terrible with white clothing. I don't own anything that's just pure white because I will stain it immediately. In fact, the first time I wore this jacket, I was eating and I was eating spaghetti and I dipped my sleeve into the spaghetti, but it was okay. It was just a little bit. And like I said, splatter paint makes it so it's a lot less noticeable when you do something like that. I, like, like I said, I don't own white clothing because I just cause trouble. I'm a I don't I won't say a slab. I'm just I'm klutzy is the issue here. And then I added the purple or the blue spots on the purple and then a aqua line and a charcoal line around the sleeves and then I'm splatter painting it again with the same colors. So all those bright pinks, purples, blues, and aquas just all over the place to break up the white and like I said, make it so it's a little less noticeable if you spill. And I'm going to be filling in the buttons with acrylic and I'm using the same acrylic that you would use on nails. I completely understand if you do not have this product at your disposal. Another thing that you could try is like a silicone caulk if you could get that nice and smooth or even I know that there's a, a type of glue that I have that I use quite a bit that's called liquid nails. Um, that also would probably work. You just have to do some trial and error maybe and see what will stay in the button and be nice and smooth. I have I, my nail tech so I can use acrylic and I think that's pretty easy for me. After I have the acrylic on there, I just painted my buttons to match with eyeballs and swirls just like on the octopus and then I glaze them and they are done and that's it. And to make sure that your jacket is going to stay nice you're, um, and the paint's going to stay on as well as it possibly can, if you just want to throw that in the dryer for like half an hour on, on whatever heat setting the material is rated for just to make sure that you really, it's like it's 
setting that paint into the jacket before you wash it then you should be all good thank you so much for watching and i hope you like this and don't forget to share recreations with me on facebook and instagram